Hey, this is Jenna Cannell from Terrifier, and this is Without Your Head. Welcome back to the station of decapitation. Without your head, I'm still nasty Neil. And I remain terrible, Troy. Mm-hmm. And now we're joined by Jenna Cannell of Terrifier. How are you doing? What's up? Hey, everybody. Yeah. How's everything so, going? Ter- <laughs> We're just talking about the room and, and Iron Sheet. <laughs> yeah, so, we, were, uh, we were kicking it for a good minute. <laughs> now it's a south downhill for now. But no, how did you get oh, involved yeah. in Terra? <laughs> uh, Damien and I met uh, years ago. We started talking a long time ago. And I know Damien's lurking in the corner, fact checking me. So mm. um, <laughs> correct me if I get it wrong. But uh, we were talking, and I was originally supposed to be involved in um, this other film called The Ninth Circle that he wrote that's also very fucked up in typical Damien fashion and really good. Uh, but this one ended up happening first and we just kept in touch and he reached out and was like, hey, want to do this one instead? Uh, and um, I was like, fuck yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Did you did you realize how uh, dark and twisted it, it, the movie was? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. Damien, did you, am I allowed to say what my death originally was? Or is that, uh, we, you spoiled, uh, we, spoiled that. we spoiled everything. So go for it. <laughs> oh my God. Why? Well, okay. What happened? You told me. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I definitely knew. I was originally planning, like you've heard, uh, on being hung upside down and having my face stuffed in a bag with a live rat. So, um, oh my Harrison, God. Was, we did not hear that. that. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know. Oh, oh, that's what I remember in the first draft. Oh, he, like, wow. Wait, actually, and, like, you know, don't, don't spoil that. That might be a killing Well, now it's too late to say that. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Gotta dig up my NDA. My bad. <laughs> but long Damn. story short, yes, I yeah. knew that uh, it was going to be fucked up regardless. Mm-hmm. Uh, so how long, uh, how long did you say you knew Damien? Uh, I mean, when, when did we first start talking? Like 2013? I think it was 2012. Um, that's what that audition was saved to on my computer. That's the only reason I know that at this point. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I think I looked like uh, (laughs) You're like a little kid. (laughs) A long time ago. Yep. Oh my God. (laughs) Tiny baby. Tiny baby. Uh Uh, yeah, it was a long, and then even, I mean, Terrifier, we filmed like two years ago now. Uh, I know it just, it's just coming out, but, um, uh, yeah, we filmed it like two or three years ago. Mm. Yeah. How about the, the skeleton dress that you wear in it? Uh, was that something that was picked out for the movie or was it, was that, uh, part of your wardrobe? Oh my God. I wish I could say I just had that on hand. <laughs> no, that was, that was for the movie, but it's mine now. <laughs> It's mine now. Uh, I didn't keep, there were two versions of it that we had on set. Uh, one was um, the the one that I kept. And then the other one was like ripped and like full of dried blood. And I didn't keep that one. Yeah. That one's on e- eBay. Right. Right. <laughs> that one's in, in Japan somewhere in a vending machine. <laughs> I think a trip to Japan. So do you have a, uh, what are your thoughts on clowns? Do you have a fear of clowns? I, I don't, uh, but I understand why they're so scary. Uh, I, I definitely get, get it. Um, I, I feel like part of it has to do with the, the uncanny valley that they look human, but not quite human, that all their features mm-hmm. are exaggerated. And, uh, I mean, art is particularly terrifying because he doesn't talk, uh, which yeah. it makes him so much scarier, uh, especially because, uh, David, as you'll see, is the opposite. <laughs> So when he's talking, he gets much scarier. <laughs> <laughs> so what was he like? Uh, obviously. All right. He'll be on a little while. So what, what was he like you know, out of character? Out of character, he's a nut job. He's ridiculous. Uh, he, he's, he's got all this clowning training and mascot training, and he's very, very silly out of character. But in character um, is a different story, for sure. Yeah. So uh, I'll ask about this, but uh, so he was like, uh, he has clown training prior to, to the role. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, Damien, I'm sure you can speak more to that, but uh, yes, I gotta be <laughs> honest. I don't think, I don't think he's had professional mind training, I, um, no, but no. he's played, 
he's played the Joker and he's clearly, yeah, yeah he's been in like all these um, theater troops or, and he's played right. like he's, the Grinch, yeah. like all these like heavy theatrical performances where he just, he brought like that really all to physical. Like, yeah. Physical mm-hmm. heavy makeup roles that he's mm-hmm. accustomed to. <laughs> No, uh, Damien told us that, like, you know, uh, you guys filmed this in, like, real locations, and there were some, you know, grimy places and some, uh, you know, uh, oddballs hanging around. What was it like to, to film the movie uh, where you guys did film it? Oh, my God. The, the, the location itself is scarier than, than the movie, arguably. The location was, <laughs> was uh, the, the shit of nightmares. Um, it, it, it was this abandoned factory in... in uh, this random part of New Jersey and it like, but it abandoned in the way that like, it looks like everybody who was working there just one day stood up and walked out and didn't take any of their shit with them, which is creepier than, than just empty room. So there's one room with all these cubicles and file cabinets and the phones are still there. There's one room where there were, it was just full of cars. Another room that was full of tires. I mean, some of that stuff was just already there. Uh, Mm -hmm. You had to walk through this, this particularly scary room just to get to the bathroom, uh, which is always super fun. Alone. Yeah, it, w- it wasn't, uh, did you use the bathroom that's shown in the movie or did you, did you have another one that you guys get to use? There was, there was a different one. Yeah. We use Spoiler a, uh, alert, we I peed a lot more during the movie than <laughs> I do in the movie. <laughs> we had a Johnny on the spot. That was much nicer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) as an actor does that help you get into the role more when you are in like a real place oh definitely yeah i mean it's it's it certainly makes you feel though you're actually uh possibly in danger Uh, i mean we had to lock our if i remember correctly we locked ourselves in there every night because we were worried about people wandering in which is just like a (laughs) grave encounters situation um Uh i mean yeah, it definitely helps a lot to mm-hmm. to to be afraid while you're supposed to be afraid. <laughs> right. So uh, the scene yeah. where you're you're being tortured and you have uh, tape over your mouth and you're screaming a lot, like uh, how how you know did you have like real tape there and how long is it there and how, you know how, how hard is that scene to shoot? Uh, there, that was real tape. Uh, all the tape on my my arms, legs, and face was actual uh-huh. tape. Uh, we, we actually had to, I, I remember we had to, we got to the point where we had to take a break from, and then kind of dull the tape on my mouth because after so many takes of ripping it off, I had this perfect red rectangle on my face, uh, in the shape of bucket. Um, mm-hmm. and so we had to kind of take a break cause it's, it's really not meant to be on, on skin for, <laughs> for too long, but that also, I mean, just like the location, like that helps, um, you know, that helps you get into the zone when you're actually experiencing the thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, especially with Damien, like, uh, your character is very likable and you're rooting for, which I always think adds to, uh, you know, to a slasher movie. Yeah. As opposed to, you know, just like, uh, random people getting killed. So, uh, right. uh, did you see, did you see that in the script? You know, that this is a, a character that you like? Yeah. Uh, definitely. Because a lot of the time in horror movies, um, and I obviously love horror movies, but a lot of times characters will do things that are just kind of dumb and unreasonable. And, and you want to scream <laughs> right. at the screen and ask why, like, you know, say, don't do that. Don't go in there. Why are you having sex in the woods next to this masked guy? Uh, and right. so I like that she, I like that um, the characters are uh, relatively intelligent. Mm-hmm. No, so, so you did- like, oh, what's in here? Yeah. Uh, did you grow up in a horror movie? Go on, yeah. Damien? I was just, can I just say that a lot of why that character is so likable, honestly, is because of Jenna's sort of natural charisma and what she brings to it. And oh, like thanks, when, I'm, when I'm... No, for real. Like, when I'm casting a movie to the best of my ability, like the first thing you look for is talent. And then the second thing you look for, you hope for, is pleasantness on you know, on set? And you, don't want any, <laughs> you know, you don't want any drama. It's tough enough. And not only is Jenna just extremely pleasant to be around and funny, but but then she brings this extra quality of just being like such a professional and very focused. 
Like you could tell she's a, a, a truly trained actor. So it was really cool to see the intensity she brings to it and how much she cares about it and all these little mm-hmm. like nuances and things she brings to the role. And on top of that, she's a stunt woman. So yeah, there was a lot of cool oh, things. Right. Like, I didn't know that. Yeah, so she would fall down steps and just uh, <laughs> like, n- numerous takes, like slamming her body into the concrete floor and having Dave choke her and just get really physical. And that, <laughs> that, was, that, that, that was really amazing. So uh, a lot well, of credit. Thank you. To to yeah, you're welcome. That's, that's really, I really appreciate all of that. And I mean, but all of that is made so much easier by having um, a, a director at the helm who you actually trust, because all of that stuff can only happen in a space where you feel uh, safe. I mean, especially if you're tied to a chair, but also, you know, emotional <laughs> safety. But um, yeah, no. Uh, and I and I always, I mean, Damien also let us play a lot, which was great. Um you know, it was never that anything was too sacred to, to play with, which is which is really nice as an actor to mm-hmm. be able to do. Yeah. Well, uh, since we already, we did spoil the movie earlier, so uh, I, I do think <laughs> you're, you're very likable in the movie, and that's what makes it so uh, uh, surprising that, you know, when your character dies, and it also, uh, you know, like, oh, you're, you're rooting for you, yeah, then you get killed in the movie. And, you know, and a lot, I think of most of the slashers, you, you only remember, like, uh, mostly you just remember the killer, but uh, your character definitely stands out in the movie. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. thanks everybody. It, Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, glad, you, I'm glad you didn't want me to die. That's <laughs> right. Exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, I guess it would be weird. I was like, man, I was really, yeah, I was really late. Wait for this woman to die. Come on. <laughs> Right, right. It'd be yeah. If you were like rooting for me to die, I'd probably have to uh, yeah. examine my life when choices. You're, when you're reading the script for the first time and your character dies, like you know, uh, mid movie, a little bit later, were you, were you surprised? Not at all. Um, <laughs> I, I think I always knew Damien was going to murder me in some horrible way. <laughs> um, I, and I and I've I've died in most of the projects that I've acted in as well. So I, I had the odds against me uh, i was i like dying i think it's really fun i i definitely was surprised by how early it it comes um yeah, but then yeah. it's it's a nice twist on the final girl trope that that it's my my sister coming to coming to save the day which is also mm-hmm. you know cool because you don't see that yeah super often mm-hmm. in movies either yeah and they got an act uh, an actress that uh looks like could be your sister yeah yeah damien did an awesome job of cat like she we definitely look like we're related. It's fantastic. Very impressive. Yeah. Hmm. And she's sure luck. <laughs> <laughs> Chance. <laughs> Wait, all right. Can I say this uh, real quick? And this is the God's honest truth. So I have, other than the million little regrets I have with the movie and things I wish I could change, I have two major regrets. One of them is that I kill off Jenna. Just because, <laughs> because you are such a cool heroine and mm-hmm. you're wor- worthy and like she really is like built up and like tough and worthy enough to to take art out or go up to him through the entire movie but this movie was mm-hmm. about establishing art the clown and that scene was so important to show that you're never you're never safe around him like all bets are off you never know what he's capable of doing you should never feel safe you know, mm-hmm. with, with a character around him so that was really important, but that was, just, it was really a tough, you know, disheartening decision to have to make, to have to kill her off because she is so likable and she's like a tough character. Um, mm-hmm. And the other one is I wish that I, there was one extra scene that I wanted to give to Samantha, who plays Victoria, who's your sister. I, I wish she had one more scene before she gets to the warehouse where I could have fleshed out her character ju- just a little bit more because she's just thrust into this situation so quickly and she has to deal with the situation and she's sort of just this woman in peril for, for most of the movie. So th- those, are, those are my two biggest regrets with this movie. But it was important that we killed you, Jen, but, we ha- yeah, but I, wish, I wish I didn't. <laughs> I know. Well, now I can't come back in the sequel. It's the only problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Unless it's but, uh, a prequel, or you've got a, a, a twin sister or a twin cousin. Oh, there you go. There you There's go. There's always a twin. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, uh, so what's it like to, to the, 
uh, when you're seeing the woman getting cut in half. Were you there for when when they're actually uh, filming it? Oh yeah, I mean, well, the kind of. I mean, the way, you know, it's it's filmed in a way. You were not. Kind of... You were not there. No, she was, not, she was I, not there. No, and that's we, uh, true. Actually. No, yeah, no, that was actually yeah, in wait. two completely different locations. Oh my god, that's right. Yeah. I remember. It oh so no, you know why you're getting confused. <laughs> No, no, she, she's partially right because there's one shot where we um, we hung up the the body, the slab, just to get yeah. just to get a shot of of the body sort of uh, out of focus in the foreground and you in the background for just one well, angle. Yeah, and and so you did see the, the body. The two halves, the two halves of her are swinging, and I have to like run by them. That part exactly. Is yeah. that what you're talking Dave about? Was Right, but when Dave was actually cutting up Catherine and like really cutting up the the hero shots of the fake body, that that was months yeah. later in a different location. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. So yeah, I uh, was, when you, well, I wasn't looking at anything, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> which is a, right, which is a testament to her her acting. Yeah, it's, it, you look well, shot to you. shot is months and months, <laughs> months apart. Yeah, but oh when you. Uh, when Jenna, when you see the finished movie, uh, what did you think of it? And did you, uh, did you, you know, you realize off obviously there's a lot of brutality in it, but did you, was it any different than you imagined it would be? Oh my God. I fucking loved it. I'm uh-huh. all hard for how the movie came out. Cause you never know. I mean, sometimes you, you do films and they fucking suck. Um, <laughs> right. uh, so it's, uh, you know, and uh, and obviously I, I didn't think that this one was going to suck, but it was so much cooler than, than I was prepared for um i guess i didn't really know um obviously uh you know how he was going to color correct it which was one of my favorite things about the uh about the final cut is the color grade on it is so fucking interesting and unique and the music is amazing and just Mm -hmm. i mean you i i do production as well and so like i logically know how all these things come together but it's always so cool to see when you're not a part of that aspect of the process to see everything come together and uh, and yeah, and it, and it had been so long that like, you know, like just now, like I forget what, <laughs> where I was at what given time and what I was looking at or not looking at. And so, um, after time had gone by, it's even cooler to see it because you don't even remember filming all of it. Yeah. And, uh, it um, seems yeah. like it's, uh, yeah, I mentioned with Damien, it's got a lot of buzz now online and it seems like oh, you know, yeah. word of mouth people talking about it. So, uh, what's been the feedback for, for you, like, you know, uh, for, for the movie? It's been, it's been really cool. People really, really like it. I mean, as, as they should, it totally deserves all the love, but, uh, yeah, it's, I love it. it's, it's, uh, yeah. Like I, I'm, I'm amazed at how much it's kind of spread, uh, online and how many people are talking about it and how many people have, have reached out, um, and said how much they loved it. And, um, just kind of how I'll accidentally see things about it, which is the coolest thing. And, uh, so many people saying that it's the most brutal thing that they've seen ever or in a long time. And that's, mm-hmm. you know, that's really cool. And, um, yeah, it's, I'm, I, I'm proud of having been a part of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I loved it. I mean, I, you know, I see a lot of movies for the show, obviously. And, uh, sure. then, then when, you know, one that like I really like comes out, it's very exciting to talk about and get it people on, you know, to, uh, talk about and i've you know told a lot of my uh, friends people i know on facebook and stuff to to watch it and uh and i think they've all loved it that's awesome hell yeah, yeah. thanks for helping uh be um our, one of our missionaries. yeah i'm sure it's always yeah <laughs> i'm sure i'm not doing a big part but <laughs> i'm just saying like I, I, I i've seen a bunch of movies and some of them you know i wonder why they're made but this one uh, really stood out to me right. i just uh, thought it was great yeah I, well thanks I, you're very welcome. Uh, I think uh, actually, uh, uh, Art the Clown wants to join us. Is that cool with everyone? Oh, Hell shit. no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. We're getting him on the line. Uh, he's, he apologizes in advance. He says he's got some people in the house. All right. I think hey, we have. Uh, hello. We have David Howard from <laughs> Thornton. Art the Clown is joining us. How are you doing? Very good. So you're here with What's everyone. Up? 
What's up? <laughs> the hey. gang is all what? here. I guess I'll take <laughs> off the video. Everybody else is just on chat, so hold on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I should have told you beforehand. I don't all have right. to see my ugly mug anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're sorry. talking. We are talking with Jenna and Damien about uh, your clown background, so now we'll get it from you. Uh, are you a, a trained clown? Um, yeah, I would say so in a uh, weird way, I guess. <laughs> I'm, I grew so we're up both doing... right. What was that? <laughs> I said we were both right. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Dave, what's up, get... brother? What's up, my brother from another mother? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is crazy. So, <laughs> yeah, so Dave, Dave, there's a little uh, confusion. See, I didn't think you were a professionally trained clown. Yeah, you, there is. Are you? No, not a protect. Uh, did I, ooh, English hard all of a sudden. I think I had a stroke. <laughs> um, no, I'm not a professionally trained clown per se. No, I, I grew up doing like theater, and I learned to do a lot of physical comedy from people that are really good at doing it, I guess. So that was how I would say I was professionally trained, but you know, <laughs> I would say I professionally hit the nail on the head with my answer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but he's been professionally trained, just not as a clown. That's exactly. Clown. Well, right. <laughs> the clown of the Semantics. <laughs> so well, what is it about clowns that interests you, David? I just think they're fun. I just like I've always been amused. I've never been scared by them. I, like as a kid going to like the circus and stuff like that, I found them extremely amusing. Mm-hmm. You know, what was it like to work with Jenna? Oh, she was awesome. <laughs> she <ucks. laughs> awesome <Northern you>, too. <laughs> Jenna's gonna get a big head off the show tonight. I, yeah, I, I yeah, it's already. <laughs> you guys are killing me, but I I appreciate all of it. You guys are so wonderful. It was, I mean, you guys have, have, I don't know if you watched any of the behind the scenes uh, stuff, but I have particular, it. you have not? No, because I, I rented it on demand, so I, did, I don't have oh, the Blu ray. Okay, okay. I was going to say, there's a, a clip of David walking around and he's in Art the Clown's head, but he's shirtless, which is just his normal skin, but he's holding up <laughs> the tits and like talking about them. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's worth the watch. <laughs> it really is. That's my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know. Yeah. Since we have spoiled a lot of movies, a lot of the movie, I do think that's probably the creepiest look is when you're uh, you're dressed as the woman with the wig and. and oh uh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. When you had the physique of ET, yeah. <laughs> I <do laughs> <one more. laughs> <laughs> I used to be afraid yeah. of going to the beach because I I always thought like guys in like you know like uh black jackets and black ties would come and take me away or something like that and dissect me. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, Dave, Dave, tell them tell them about what it was like with me and you discussing that scene and how oh. and how it came to be and why you were so courageous and why you eventually did it the way we executed it. Well, yeah, yeah, that that's originally it wasn't written for me to be like naked or anything like that. I was supposed to wear all that over the clown costume. And and Damien's like, we're in the car one day driving to set. And he's like, you know, what would be freakier is if you were naked. And I'm like, yeah, that would be kind of <laughs> freaky for the audience. <laughs> but I'm like, but he's like, serious. I'm like, yeah, I, I, know, I know what you mean. Yeah, I totally know what you mean. But I'm like. You know, if Catherine is going to do what she's doing in this film and go full out like that, you know, she can expose mm-hmm. herself in such, you know, a sensitive way. It, you know, it, I might as well, too. It's like, you know, she can do it. I can do it. Mm-hmm. So he guilted you into it. That's what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, which, goes, yeah which goes to show. You know, the professionalism and the people I had the, uh, you know, the luck to work with. I was really, there was no, I didn't have to really twist Dave's arm to do it. He was totally, totally game. You know, there was just really no no drama. It was was such an amazing working environment between (laughs) me and the actors. It was really like a fucking dream come true. Because I've had some horrible experiences with actors in the past. Like, I I, I literally, I scrapped a movie that I, I had shot 
pretty much like 70% of the movie. And I scrapped the entire movie because I hated the star. And I just, I just yes. knew I would never be able to look at that movie. <laughs> like when it was finished. Damn. So yeah, that's, that's fucking bad. Yeah. That's yeah, super story. depressing. Yeah. Well, no, I was, I was gonna, I was gonna add an addendum to that, that I, I, and I'm sure David can also speak to this. I've worked with some directors who are just fucking awful. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and yeah. So, I mean, with it's, it's feeling is mutual it's also very funny because you know damien's shit is so fucked up and and david's uh character is so fucked up and in real life they're both such kind sweet people yeah. <laughs> and you, you never know by looking at their art oh thank you Acting. <laughs> <laughs> no uh jenna mentioned earlier you know she had a, a different uh death scene originally we won't, we won't talk about that part but uh, when was it changed, and like, uh, you know, who came up with uh, the death scene that we see? Uh, I, I definitely came up with that. Originally, it was supposed to be in the script. It was, um, I, th- I think, Victoria had a boyfriend. Uh, it was supposed to happen to a, to the boyfriend in the script, and then I just wrote that character out. And oh, wow. um, yeah, I thought it would be a lot cooler to do that. I cool, didn't know that's this. The right adjective, but it'd be a lot, a lot more disturbing and effective to do it to Jenna's character. So, yeah, so that's what we wound up doing. The reason I, so now I'm starting to remember the kill that we were supposed to do to Jenna. The re- wow. You're right. Jen. I even, I even built that fake head of yours. The, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With, like the, with the damage in it that was supposed to happen from that death scene. Um, the reason I didn't do it is because, if I did that back to back with the soaring and half scene, the audience would have got up and walked out of the. Walked, walked out of the game. <laughs> like no, it, it would have been it, it would have been so distasteful, way too much, and just completely complete overkill. No pun intended. But I mean, it, so that, wow, you're right. I, I totally forgot about that. I didn't forget about the kill. Like I still have that idea, but I forgot we were actually going to do that in this movie. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I had forgotten about it until this moment when they, when earlier they asked about the script and whether mm-hmm. it was fucked up right off the bat <laughs> and it suddenly came <laughs> flooding back to me because we were yeah. even talking about how to accomplish that safely and, um, but in a way it's more, it, it's less grotesque the way that he actually kills me, but in a way it's more fucked up at the same time because he, yeah. it's mm-hmm. even, if you have no idea. Yeah the original way would have would have gone way further into quote unquote torture Gore. porn like like this yeah. it would have it would have been way too much torture it would have been another method of her being uh sort of like hung up or shackled and and tortured so to speak yeah so yeah right. it definitely wouldn't have worked it would have been way too much yeah mm-hmm uh, we talked with Damien earlier about you know, Art using a gun. Uh, what 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 your take on that, uh, David? About you know, Art using a, a gun in the movie? Well, I, I I thought it was a ballsy move. Um, when I first read it, I was like, God, no one's going to see this coming. Yeah, I was very surprised. Yeah, uh, we we had fun that night too because I was like, Oh, this is going to be badass. This is going to be badass. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> This I'm like I, I told him like this is going to be the part where everybody screams in the theater because they are not going to see that coming. But yeah, I mean I think in especially um, you know in you consider the environment that we are in right now as a country with the gun violence and everything. I think it's a very valid and real fear that a lot of people now have, and yeah. so. I know we didn't do that on purpose to like make some kind of political point or anything, but I mean, I think it it works in that kind of way. Yeah, I agree. It is weird yeah. and, that and uh, the idea that it's not. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, you go on, Jenna. Oh, uh, <laughs> I was just gonna talk. I was gonna piggyback onto that um, and just say that uh, along those same lines, it's it's even though it's not an intentional political statement that it does speak to the the fear of that someone could suddenly do that and it's not quote unquote fair anymore it's not a fair it's not a fair fight anymore it's right. literally right. bringing a gun to a knife fight yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> or what yeah, it's a cowardly I, move but whatever <laughs> <laughs> it is it is it's, <laughs> so you didn't you didn't beat jenna's character fairly is what she's saying no <laughs> <laughs> Well, you, you even look at the scene, and you know Art's not even enjoying it. 
He's just kind no, of right. that he had like, a resort yeah. to that. Yeah, the yeah, tone of the movie seems, it it really changes. Like you didn't want to, yeah, like mm-hmm. you didn't want to res- resort to that. Maybe yeah. I don't know. In, like, well, I got to do something here, or I'm going to die. So, <laughs> I'm I'm glad I'm so threatening at least. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, you know what's funny? A lot of people, when it comes to that scene, a lot of people I've seen, I, I notice, get annoyed that you don't keep beating him up, that you kind of keep taunting him. Mm-hmm. And to me, like you do, you do have him. Like he's he's completely yeah. at your mercy at, these, at that scene. He is defeated. Like the 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 tables turn where now you're in the power position and you want to drag it out because yeah. because of how you know you don't want to kill him that quickly. You want him to keep getting up so you can knock him back down. So oh it's yeah, not, it's not, it's not that you your character fucked up. And and you could have no. had him if you just kept hitting him. He was gonna pull out the gun regardless. You know what I mean? So it's not it's not a fault of your character. I think there's just so much frustration when people watch the scene that you don't get the best of him. But if they actually thought the movie was gonna end at the forty five minute mark, uh, that's that's kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you were just gonna kill him right there. Yeah. But um, but yeah, you did you did she did have him. I mean, if Art got back up, you were gonna knock him back down. So it really yeah, didn't matter. But, yeah. 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 I agree with you though. I mean, it's after, after what he did, why, why should he get to die quickly? You know, nobody yeah, else got exact. to. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, uh, crap out of him. <laughs> yeah. uh, David, what was the, what's the worst part of uh, the makeup? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> the contacts. I, I, I have a thing about stuff in my eyes. So it's like mm-hmm. I always hate contacts. I've always hated contacts. I, I tried to wear contacts years ago just because I, I usually wear glasses. And I'm like, I can't do this. <laughs> and we, we had one night where uh, one of the contacts had a rip in it. And it was, yeah, yeah, so like, oh, crap. The, the only other pair that we had basically covered my whole entire eye. So like if I moved my eye any direction, it would like hurt. Mm. So I was like, oh, I can't do this. So we ended up like filming like from that point on the film. If you look closely, you might notice I have green eyes. Because <laughs> 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 that, that scene was near the end of the film anyway. So we're like, oh, well, you know what? From this point on, we'll just we'll not have you with you know, black eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about the well, gums something... and like your teeth? You oh, the teeth? Sorry. Those were a pain because they made me drool all the time. <laughs> I think that was a pain for uh, Damien, though, because he had to keep on retouching my uh, makeup around my mouth. <laughs> his, his lip kept falling off and yeah. puddles of drool in the lip. And yeah, yeah it doesn't. Uh, so... <laughs> gelatin sounds... doesn't react well to drool. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it made me sound like Brack when I talk from like Space Ghost. I said, hey, everybody. <laughs> 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 I'm here to shoot a movie. Uh, uh, Damien mentioned earlier, Jen is also a uh, a stunt woman. So, did you do your own stunts in the movie? Oh yeah. Oh, me- oh yeah, she did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So did you? No. Yeah, yeah. Except yeah. for uh, Phil. Phil, our uh, producer, actually filled um, like uh, filled in for me at uh, one point though when <laughs> he's the one that drove the truck through the the door. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! That's right. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot that was Phil. <laughs> that was actually that was the only stunt performer in the movie who wasn't yeah. the actual actor. So everybody <laughs> really did. Their yeah, <laughs> Phil Falcone was. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the fact that we were actually contemplating having Dave drive through those. Dave, do you even have a license? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do, but you don't so, really drive. What was so scary, though, is, like, um, I, I have, like, one of my, my left eyes, my bad eye, and I, so, the they had all these prosthetics over my right eye, which is my good eye, so I was like, oh, I, there's no way I can drive this thing. I'm, I I just see massive blurs right now. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a disaster. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> I would have probably like just hit the side of the building. <laughs> not or the whole building it. would have come crashing down. Yeah. It was close to it already. 
<laughs> Larry would have been pissed. Uh-huh. So, oh, uh, man. Did, did either of you get any uh, injuries uh, doing your stunts? Did I? No. Uh, Not I don't think so. Just no. to my sanity. Not anything physical. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, Damien told us earlier that the cops came at one point in time. Uh, were yes. you, you guys there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. That was all yeah, because of I me. Because Super <laughs> D, I see, I, did, I would forget what I looked like in the makeup. I would forget <laughs> I even had it on. And so they were out there filming one of the scenes, and I'm just chilling out in the, the holding slash makeup room. And I, yeah, I got full on blood and everything on. And I hear this argument happening on the street below the window and these two ladies out there arguing with each other. So I just go over there to watch the argument, not even thinking. It like at one point one of them looks up and sees me and they freak out and run off because they see this bloody clown because I, I waved at them. Oh god, <laughs> waved at them? I didn't think. I didn't think. And they go like 15 minutes later. That's when like Damien and like Phil and everybody come in. Like Dave, we uh, we got some uh, friends outside that want to meet you, but don't come out until oh we God. tell you. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> okay. So like I'm waiting at on the other side of the, the huge like roll up garage door, and they're like, Dave, come out. So I roll up the door, and there's like about 10 to 15 New Jersey cops out there, like just total like riot gear on ready to go to battle and i'm like what's up guys <laughs> <laughs> they're like man we would have shot you on site if you were the first one who came out of here and I'm like, i believe you <laughs> please do not shoot me <laughs> uh, do you have any memories of that night jenna of that night yeah, when the uh, police I, I vaguely, I vaguely remember a police presence. I don't remember David standing in the window waving at people, which is horrifying. Oh, you were on uh, set. Horrifying. <laughs> yeah, that's when you were oh, on set. Okay. set. Yeah, that was just I was, I was just in the room by myself. I'm like bored. <laughs> oh God, okay. it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing how much shit you forget when you're filming at three o'clock in the morning uh, oh, yeah. freezing right. and you're just on autopilot and you're just trying to get shit done and it's like it's fucking crazy like you don't care what's going on like the the, yeah. the, the world could be burning it's like you got to get this shot and i don't care about anything else <laughs> let's go tell, right. tell the cops yeah. to leave <laughs> it's like, stop talking to the cops it's great it's funny let's go <laughs> yeah and and with everything that happens you kind of get to a place of like wondering whether you're hallucinating or not in the first yeah. place, yeah, real <laughs> because oh, you're yeah. not sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Damien told us that Damien told us his mom was kind of like, you know, you know, what went wrong with my son when she saw the movie. But uh, <laughs> uh, uh, David and Jenna, uh, have your have your family and friends seen the movie, and what, what did they think? Um, David, you want to go first? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I my friends have seen it. Uh, I don't know if my dad's actually sat down to watch it yet. I gave him a copy when I went home a few weeks ago back to Alabama. So, but uh, I, I know my friends have loved it. You know, like one of my coworkers uh, has seen it. Like the, the day I came into work after she had seen it, she's just standing there, just staring at me with like this apprehensive look on her face. I'm like, you saw the movie, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, I know if my mom was still alive, she would not see it. <laughs> she was uh, terrified of horror films, so she was like, "I love you, but no." <laughs> uh, you would have turned her into a horror fan. Oh, I don't know. You <laughs> sit through like old Vincent Price movies. She was like, like the. Uh, <laughs> she couldn't watch that fall of the House of Usher of all things. That scared her. <laughs> Yeah. It's a pretty fucked up story, though. That's yeah. Funny. Oh no, she, man, no. <laughs> yeah, my um, I have one friend who has seen the movie <laughs> because she's a huge horror nerd, and uh, uh-huh. I, I have very few friends that really love horror. But she, she's seen it. She bought it. She she watched it multiple times. She live tweeted me basically the entire time while she was watching it. She texted me throughout the entire experience. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and it was great because I, I knew which part she was at at any even time based on what she was texting me. 
Um, and anyone who's seen the movie will know um, what she was talking about when out of nowhere I got a text at 2 a.m. that said, my vag hurts. <laughs> That's class. <laughs> In all capitals. Um, but yeah, she's the only one. My parents, I showed my parents the first, I showed my parents the, uh, the diner scene. And mm-hmm. they that scared them, so that's all they got to see. <laughs> oh. Has your brother seen it yet? No, 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 I, no, no, yeah. that's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, my, my sister keeps yeah. bothering my sister was like, when, are, when, are you, when am I going to be able to see this? Because I, I gave a copy to my dad to give my sister in her group home. And I'm like, I don't know if they will be able to all handle that in their group home. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah maybe not. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 oh, actually, it's, now that you mention that, my, my brother's girlfriend has seen it. Oh. will not watch. Yeah. <laughs> Your brother would probably hate me after watching the movie. And I don't want that yeah. to happen. <laughs> he he would also probably never sleep again. So we're just gonna keep him <laughs> keep him pure. Yeah. Uh, uh, did you were you both uh, horror movie fans before you became actors? I was. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I was a little bit late to the game though, because like my mom's fear of horror films kind of impacted me as a child. So I didn't really watch horror films till like my senior year of high school. Because uh, it's like when Scream 2 came out and a bunch of my, my friends that were in the show that I was in were like going to go see it. And they dragged me out to see it. They're like, you got to come see it, man. Come on. Don't be a chicken shit. And so I'm like, OK. And I, I watched it. I was like, I was having a blast. I was like, oh, this ain't bad at all. <laughs> this is fun. Mom was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, I just kind of I... watched everything. Oh, Yeah. I always used to, every time I was sick, that's what I would do when I had to stay home, was watch horror movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you remember, what were some of your favorite ones? Do you remember? Um, man, I mean, the, the thing, like the, the 80s version, uh, is oh, yeah. amazing and will always be amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, that's definitely Good choice. Fun. Thank you, yeah. thank you, and you, you, of course, you like it because all the aliens are practically done, and that oh, poor special yeah, effects yeah. artist almost <laughs> died. <laughs> yeah. Do you know? Yeah, I, I really... found out that um, I found out that like a third of the special effects budget on that movie was spent on cocaine. I'm not even kidding. Good <laughs> <Lord>. <laughs> Understandably, understandably. It's <laughs> <laughs> really the. In our budget. <laughs> <laughs> was that, was that, our, was that our budget? That. That was the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone thinks he's classically trained clown, but it's just it's just cocaine. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's no, mine was not just actually white. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Movie would have been twenty minutes long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, really fast. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I would say John Carpenter's a thing is like the best of both worlds because uh, you can watch it just for the the awesome effects, but it's also a great story and great cast. So you know yeah. it works oh, yeah. on every level. You know, oh, and, the yeah. alien, and the alien really is alien. It's not just like a, a guy in a suit. You know, it's like oh, uh, yeah. something totally, totally otherworldly, which is very cool. Mm-hmm. But it starts out looking human, which is why it's so unnerving. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. This. Uh, this row, there's a board game version of it out now, and I have to say it's it's a lot of fun for anyone who's uh, into board games. The the board game version. What is version the objective of, of the game? How well, what's, is it, how... what's cool? So you're so you're everyone who plays is a, a character from the game. I mean from the movie, mm-hmm. and uh, so you're, you're trying to seek out and kill the the the, the thing. But uh, but people but you can get infected and be taken over by the thing. But no one knows but you. So like oh. you kind of you can lie in the game and you know try to that make people think other all. people's thing. yeah it's 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 a lot of fun when you played it and uh, the last time I played it we actually and then you can get like a flamethrower and as a group you can decide if you want to burn one of the other people and we <laughs> burn one of, we burned Rita a friend of ours alive and it turned <laughs> out she was human I thought it was very funny <laughs> Rita has never <laughs> forgiven you. Ah. 
Uh, no, no. You have the most disturbing thing that could ever happen in a board. Game, <laughs> yeah, just burn yeah. We just burned our friend alive. And, uh, <laughs> she wasn't the thing after all. Sorry. <laughs> and then she has to go, go. home. <laughs> Do not collect two hundred dollars. <laughs> no, none of us ever won. None of the games ever. The alien, the thing, always won all the games. But it's still very. I was about to say, oh, does anybody? <laughs> It's, it's like, like Monopoly. Monopoly. Yeah, you freeze to death if you win. That's not much of a win anyway, is it? Yeah, you got to try to escape to the helicopter, which is very oh. hard, and none of us ever did it. But <laughs> it's the one. <laughs> wow, this was really intensive game. It is, yeah. yeah. What it's like mean? you really, you really get... It is it's very fun. You get into it, I have to, I have to admit. So, uh, wow. Jenny dress apparently uh, uh david do you have any uh art the clown stuff like what do you mean like art the clown stuff uh, oh. uh do you have like the the actual wardrobe of it? you know the hat the mask well oh, the, i guess makeup oh. uh, the clown Wait, shoes <laughs> no i don't have access to any of that stuff unfortunately i have all that stuff <laughs> yeah safe, safe keeping keeping it safe. <laughs> Oh, uh, I yeah, I, I bought an Art the Clown patch uh, to put on my ho- on my hoodie right next to Pennywise and uh, and Twisty the Clown. Uh, have you guys seen like all uh, your merchandise popping up? Yeah, I'm honored. Yeah, I see the um, I see the legal and the illegal merchandise. A lot more illegal. <laughs> <laughs> A lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It was flattering. I'm like, yay, but yeah, yay. <laughs> I, it's, so, it's crazy. I mean, we get we get tagged by people so enthusiastically, and they're like, "Look what I made, and I'm selling it." I'm like, "That's great. You're really not supposed to be doing that." Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> I'm so flattered. I, at this point, I can't say anything. But um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, at some like, point, uh, I, something's, something's right. gonna happen. Yeah, <laughs> well, and then there's true. the tattoos. Don't forget the tattoos. Oh my gosh, I've lost count on how many tattoos I've seen now. A lot, yeah, Dave. I mean, that's like it's 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 thrilling for me, but that is your face on somebody. So <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> weird. <laughs> it's like that's gonna have to be on someone's body for the rest of their life. That's like, what? <laughs> yeah. and, uh, I I mean. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, 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 look. I was just gonna, I was just gonna say, like, every time there have been a couple people who have gotten them on their hands, and I just, I hope it's not their dominant one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh God. Some, some oh no. Jerking it with your face. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think of that. Thanks for putting that image in my head. <laughs> you did, that was the first thing I thought of. <laughs> what a, what an honor. <laughs> oh, <an> honor. oh <laughs> boy! Uh, well, I'm they should be doing where I, I'm wearing the boobs, so it gives them something to work with. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, in our defense, on the East Coast, it's 11 p.m. right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know. I was yeah. just saying. Now I'm chatter. thinking about. I, yeah, I was just saying. I'm thinking about getting a tattoo after after that. <laughs> <laughs> Is it going to be on your hand? <laughs> well, well, you know. <laughs> oh man, but that is weird though. That pe- people will. Uh, uh, I could see if someone just drew a picture or something like that, but uh, the someone who's like actually selling stuff with your with your stuff on, and would actually tag you in it. I just find yeah. that very mind boggling. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that'd be like a video pirate, like tagging you <laughs> on there or something. You know? Oh, that's actually happens. Like someone, like I think they put it on like uh, somewhere on Facebook. They actually put like a pirated version of the film on there. Like, <laughs> hey, come watch this. And I didn't realize. I thought they had just put like a clip from the movie up, so I liked it. And I'm like, mm-hmm. and like uh, the one <laughs> oh, friends, man. Like, why did you like that? Like, oh, I didn't know it was the whole film. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. like, oh no! Yes. No. Pat, yeah. Art doesn't like pirates. Clearly, those commercials from the '90s were not effective. Do you guys remember those? Oh yeah. You wouldn't steal a bag. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nor is the, uh, the the twenty five thousand dollar fine and like 
20 years in jail. That doesn't. Oh, yeah. Where you had a fast. Oh, right. Also that. Also that. Minor detail. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. I, I've been kicked too. out of like groups. Uh, so real quick. I've been kicked out of like Facebook groups where it's, they're supposed to, you know, love, love movies and they'll just be sharing, you know, uh, uh, links to download them. I'm like, oh, this isn't too cool. And then they'll like kick <laughs> you out of them. And they'll attack me. They're, you're you're wow. cruel because you won't let this guy watch a movie. I'm like, what? I mean, it's very <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Well, thanks for trying to fight the good fight. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't people. I don't think connect that. Yeah, know. I don't think they think it's wrong. Honestly, I think they just yeah. right. They, a lot of people. Think yeah. It's just like a cheap version, uh, a cheaper way to watch it. Yeah. Right. They don't realize that this is how we all make a living. I know. It's <laughs> go to Redbox and pay a buck and a half. I mean, come on. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. This shit is, is why some of us have insurance. So. <laughs> 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 what were you saying, Damien? Sorry if I interrupted you. Oh, no. no I'm sorry. Sorry. I was going to say, um, like, Dave and I especially, we're very friendly when it comes to fans of the movie and like they were always getting contacted and they were always reach out to us on Instagram and Facebook and stuff. And like, we interact with them a lot and cause we're just, we're just like so grateful. So like a lot of times there's more of like, there's just more of this like friendship kind of, kind of thing. Like they're just so proud and they feel like they could be just be so cool with us and just sell things and make yeah. things. And we, we, you know, we love them and it's so cool and we're, we're really honored and stuff. But it's just, yeah. it's just it's just one of those things where there's just like a blurred line, mm-hmm. up there. Mm-hmm. and yeah, you know, we're you know we're not gonna. I actually had yeah, some, like contact me uh, recently that had done some artwork like a painting that she wanted me to sign, but people had seen her uh, the the painting that she did, and there all these people are approaching her now to like for her to make prints of that painting and for her to sell them. I'm like, Whoa, okay. Um, you need to like talk to maybe like uh, Damien before you do any of that. Yeah. Just, yeah. Sure. I'm like, I would be very happy to sign the one you actually made, mm-hmm. but you know, before you go selling it to everybody else, you know, let's, let's talk to Damien first. This is his baby. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so stuff like that is becoming very, very common, very frequent <laughs> on a weekly basis. So yeah, it's uh yeah it's a new thing for all of us but you know we'll we'll, we'll figure it out at some yeah. point but we're we're just we're really honored it's all oh yeah happening so fast and i just want to see like cool. i just want to see like NECA and like funko pop and those kind of people like actually oh man that'd be awesome yeah stuff that's what i'm hoping for mm-hmm. i saw you guys are yeah david and uh, damien are uh, gonna be at a uh, mad monster party in arizona have you either of you ever done a convention before? Not yeah. on this side of it, no. No, this this is going to be a new experience for me. <laughs> and I got yeah, I have I haven't either. I would like to though. Holler oh. at anyone listening who wants me at a convention. I would love to. <laughs> Hell yeah! I will, you will. I will put it. You will. I will put in a good word for you, Jen. I know some of the yeah. promoters. Oh, please. Yeah, thank you. We should Mad Monster is a real good one too. You guys should yeah, have is. a good time. A good oh, we're show. stoked! I mean, they got a, like an awesome group of people coming down for that one too. Mm-hmm. Are like, you going that one, Neil? Go on, sorry. I'm sorry. Who's gonna go? Now everybody's timid. We're all Canadian. Yeah. I love it. I'll take charge. Uh, I was going to say, I was very <laughs> adamant about not, not doing conventions or things where I'm putting Dave in the makeup other than the movie, because I feel like that would kind of take away from the effectiveness of the character or like his mystique. If, you know, but, but when, when they told me at the Mad Monster thing that Tom Savini is going to be making up Kane Hodder as his video game jason like that's the fucking yeah. craziest thing Ooh, ever uh, i mean that's i i told you guys before yeah what Tom really means to me and they told me that uh robert england has done it and stuff like that so like this is like now this is just the the greatest honor ever yeah. so oh yeah. yeah so it's really going to be it's really going to be badass i'm going to go all out with his makeup and we're oh, gonna they're going to have like a photo op type thing to- yeah it's, it's a photo oh, op so that's I'm actually awesome gonna make yeah, I'm actually gonna make Dave up. I'm gonna put him in the makeup and the costume, and we're gonna uh, I'm gonna bring like all kinds of weapons and stuff for him to him and the the fans to pose with and everything. <laughs> that yeah, that's gonna, gonna be badass. Be, that's that's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, That'd Mad Monster really cool. always does really cool ones. So they have the green screen, so they put it in a weird background. And I know, like, Sid Haig has done, you know, Captain Spaulding at one. And uh, yep. Yep. so they do a lot of really cool ones. I think the last one we were at, the uh, uh, they had, like, you know, someone who says Leatherface. Ari Mihailov from Part 3 was Leatherface, and uh, that was pretty wild. Just, cool. He's going to be there again. I just found out mm-hmm. tonight, actually, which is insane. That's, that's so oh, wow. cool. God, so, they're going to have all yeah. the greats here. I was oh, like, because they got Freddy, they got Jason, Mike Myers, Leatherface. I'm like, God. Oh, that yeah. the best time. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's such an honor. Wow. I mean, those are the legends. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Now, now I'm glad I'm not going. I wouldn't make it out alive. <laughs> <laughs> we need a up. victim. We... <laughs> yeah. I know a lot. Too of like, many uh, killers uh, and no victims today. <laughs> well, I know a lot of the Elm Street brats are supposed to be there too. So that's going to be kind of cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 We were at the one in Charlotte uh, a few months ago. It was a really good time. Mad Monster Charlotte. Nice. This one, uh, for everyone out there, it's in Arizona coming up, uh, I believe, on the 13th, Friday the 13th, yep. June 13th, July 13th, sorry. So, uh, yeah, go check that out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 13th to the 15th, that's when we'll be there. And uh, Saturday is going to be the day we make up day for the. Oh, okay. Lot. That's always, yeah, Saturday's always a real big day at the conventions. Yeah. But uh, since wow. you have, you see people with the tattoos, I've seen this b- before. People will uh, get the people to sign over the tattoo. And then they'll uh, they'll turn that into a tattoo. So maybe wow. maybe Dave, you'll be signing some uh, some hands or, or whatnot. Maybe other things. Who knows? Yeah, well, I was I was at one convention where a fan uh, and I regret not getting on video because they went up and they had a tattoo of uh, Captain Spaulding on their ass and they asked oh. Hag to sign it and he did. And I wish I would have yeah. been on video. <laughs> oh, boy, that's right. when you know you made it, Dave. When you're on yeah. the ass. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I got things to look forward to. So, uh, Dave, what, what, would you play art again? Oh, of course. <laughs> I would love to. There's so much more I want to do with the character. Anyway, it's like, uh, like Damien and I like contact each other all the time with just ideas, like funny little things or some cool kills we come up with, or like, hey, we, how about this? How about this? How about this? So it's like, yeah. <laughs> He's always on my mind, I guess you could say. Yeah. <laughs> when you saw the finished movie, you know, uh, what, what did you think of it? Once it's all edited together, you got the music and everything. I was so happy. I, I saw it at the uh, the premiere we had at Lincoln Center. And the thing is with me, I am my worst critic. I hate watching anything I do. I hate it. But this was like Oh wow! This is fun. This is good. Oh, this came out good. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Yay! <laughs> uh, one character we need to talk about is uh, the homeless woman and, and her doll baby, which uh, I thought was a great addition Here to the are. movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was, it was, uh, what was the story behind? Uh, you know, did that did that come from anything? Um. That came from needing more bodies. So, <laughs> Very uh, good. But interesting. Yeah, honest, <laughs> honest, yeah, honestly, that's where it came from. And then uh, yeah, it's like, well, how many people can you get into this abandoned building and not have it be another friend or, you know, you have the worker, the friends. Mm-hmm. So it's like, well, what if let's do something a little different? And, and again, one of the one of the tropes of a lot of slasher movies is that one crazy character, like, like crazy mm-hmm. Ralph from Friday right. the 13th. It's an eye. So, it's an omen. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a death curse. <laughs> so this is like, uh, this is like a little nod to that. And then she's trying to do something a little twisted with it. So we made her really creepy and I gave her the, the baby doll because baby dolls are creepy. So yeah. what if, like what if she, away. what if she was, so far gone that she actually believed that baby doll was her her child and then and then it was like so now you have this insane person and art the clown who's totally insane and let's put them let's put them in a scene together and make just the strangest most awkward you know encounter ever like imaginable (laughs) and and for me that's that's the most awkward scene it's it's so like uncomfortable for me to even watch like i don't even know where i don't even know where that came from like like, your brain damien (laughs) coming from inside the house 
<laughs> from it. That's the greatest thing you ever said. Okay. <laughs> but I, I yeah, was, so I like, just tried to make sorry, it weirder and weirder, and then and then I was like, yeah, let's just have and then let's have art sort of take on the persona of the baby. And then I just have him start like sucking his thumb and she cradles him. And it's just the, I, I just wanted the audience to be like, what, what is happening? You're like, you lost me. This is, like, this, is, this is, this is the craziest thing in this movie so far. You know, this is just so bizarre. Um, which yeah, is cool because, they, <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. Uh, like people don't know where it's going. They don't know if like, um, they have a relationship or they knew each other or she reached him emotionally mm-hmm. on some level and whatnot. Like they're completely confused, and they and they think maybe she sort of won him over, and he got vulnerable for a second, and then of course you see, it was yep. just all, it was just all an act, and now he's uh, he's wearing her, and he's taken on her <laughs> persona now at this this point, and he's just acting like a woman, which was I mean that is a total testament to Dave, like like he just brought that <laughs> to to life and just made the eeriest, freakiest. I I gave him a little direction which is like the weird hand movement but he just took that and ran and dave really put in the female mannerisms and all that stuff and he just went <laughs> off we have like a, a half an hour of footage of dave just doing the craziest shit and we even <laughs> shot that we even shot it to we shot two different versions so one version uh-huh. which is the one you see in the movie and another one where we shot every angle except he's holding the baby doll and he's cradling it and he's yeah. like He's like speaking to it and uh, it's talking to him and telling him where the the girl could be. And it was really cool. And it's kind of like either one could have worked effectively, but there was Mm -hmm. something really freaky about him having his two arms free and doing that weird flailing about movement, just really (laughs) Mm -hmm. feminine dinky kind of thing. That was just, to me, it was just really disturbing. So I, I went with that version. But yeah, Dave, yeah, Dave was just that. That's all Dave. That that's what Dave brought to this one. That was just you know, <laughs> uh, so yeah, really uh, great, Dave. Yeah, it's uh, all that what drag what? race I watched. <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> yeah, that's a good show. Yeah, I'll say uh, I'm gonna watch that scene on a in a loop with my uh, Art the Clown uh, hand tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! <laughs> Uh, it puts the lotion on its skin. <laughs> you guys My are friend. sick. <laughs> <laughs> what? Who is talking? My yeah. friend who was uh, who who was texting me the whole time she was watching the movie. Uh, the thing she said about that scene was that she was shipping them. I think she thought that they had a future together. <laughs> 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 Why do birds suddenly? <laughs> <laughs> well, that that was a fun. That was. Hang on, can I say? Can I say for a second that that talking about that scene? That was actually probably the riskiest thing we did in the movie, because yeah. what? Yeah, because you have like as far as the Arthur Clown character goes, because you have a character that pretty much works at least from the feedback that I've gotten personally from short, the short films and all Hallows Eve. It's like physically he works. So it's, it's good. You don't want to, you don't want to fuck with that. So one of the most out of the box decisions is to take him out of his costume and just completely take him out of his element. I mean, that's, that's more or less unfathomable when you think of other slasher mm. iconic characters. Yeah. You can't, po- you can't possibly do that. It would never never work. It's a super risky thing to do. Uh, he changes up his mannerisms. Like the only thing he has on besides his face is that's identifiable as Arthur Clown is his face and his clown shoes, <laughs> which I had to keep the clown shoes on. Still so got that, the that shoes. Hysterical. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, I, mean, I hadn't thought I mean, about it like that. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that was definitely something I struggled with a little bit. And then I was like, fuck it. I mean, this, this character is all about, just swinging for the fences and just going for it. So yeah. again, like like we said before, Dave. I mean, we gotta originally put the the skin on top of the outfit, and and I just knew, just like instinctively, I just wasn't gonna have the same effect as if you were yeah. completely naked. And 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 you know what I mean? Because it, it almost like all blends into one, where it just looks like your whole body just transforms into a, a woman, just a naked yep. woman, and there's just something very unnerving about it. So I, I, you know, I think we made the right decision. It was definitely a risky choice, but 
whatever. That's art, right? Yeah. I just felt sorry for the crew that night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> staring at my naked butt all night. I was like, I'm sorry, guys. There's a lot of, there's a lot of Dave ass on the cutting room floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it should be. See, that, that's imagine the Dave. If that's when the, imagine well, if that's when the cops had come by. Oh, be, <laughs> oh my God, they would have shot him. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was actually the first night that like Sam and I actually worked together on set, too. So that was like, hi, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Here's, here I am. Here, this, is, me. this is get used to this. Yeah, <laughs> welcome. Yeah. Well, the funny thing was that that morning when we shot, like Damien sends me a text. He's like, "Dude, um, bring your cock sock with you to set." I'm like, "What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? He's like, cock sock. Just bring a cock sock." I'm like, I, 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 "What is that?" <laughs> He's like, Just "Bring a sock That's with." That's actually. You. I have the same question. Yeah, it's just a normal, normal yeah. run-of-the-mill sock. Yeah, <laughs> that is. So I brought a sock. I was just—I wasn't thinking. I brought this bright white tube, tube sock, <laughs> and I'm like, he's like, "Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> that's going to show up on film." Because you know, I don't know if you know this, but I'm also wearing not just her boobs and her hair, but I'm also wearing her vajayjay. Nobody there. notices that, dude. Yeah, nobody notices that. Yeah, it's yeah, be really. Awesome. <laughs> so like we were so worried that that would be the white of the cock sock <laughs> would be <Yeah. laughs> so I actually have brought a black sock instead I'm like oh whoops <laughs> yeah. yeah so I had I had to cut around this, uh, this eight, you know this eight inch dangling white sock and yeah it was <laughs> <awesome. Very> <laughs> well, you'll know next time to bring a black yep. sock yep. someone you know bring the bring the cock sock yeah, exactly. You know, you, you learn as you go. You learn as you go. <laughs> since, we, uh, since we did spoil the movie earlier with Damien, and he said that was fine, uh, what what is both uh, David and Jenna's take on the end of the movie uh, when Art uh, shoots himself and then comes back? Oh, I'll let you go first. Uh, I, you know, like, who fucking knows with this guy? <laughs> like I, there was, there's no predicting what he was going to do no matter what after everything that the audience has been through at that point i don't think anybody can even try to to guess what he's going to do yeah mm-hmm. see i think it shows the person, real i i think it shows what a real bastard he is that he's going to do that he's not going to give anybody satisfaction of defeating him mm-hmm. or, or of finding out why he did any of it yeah yeah he's like Fuck you all. <laughs> and I, I don't think he actually understood that he could resurrect himself, too. I don't think he's fully grasped all that kind of stuff yet. So it's like, you know, he, he th- he's just like, I'm just I'm going out in style. I'm going out with a bang, you know? Mm-hmm. I love it's it. True. It's true. Uh, it's yeah, it's it, it's genuine. Like, that's the way yeah. you really expect it to go out for good, which is really disturbing. You know, it falls yep. into, like I was telling you guys earlier, it just falls into that uh, murder-suicide, which is very relevant and disturbing in reality. Um, right. But uh, honestly, when, when I first wrote the script, the movie, like, that was it. There was no resurrection scene. He just kills himself. And then it ends with uh, Samantha in the hospital getting spun around. And you're like, oh, that's the girl from the beginning, the end. Mm-hmm. And then uh, before we put the movie out, I really felt adamant about having a scene where, because I really, I, I, you know, I believe in the character a lot and I, I really hope and, you know, think people like him and want to see more of him. So I didn't want to leave people off with, uh, with them just being like, well, is that it? Is he dead? You know, that's fucked up. I wish I could have seen more of this clown. And then it kind of just peters out. So, mm-hmm. uh, you know, even though him waking up in the morgue is, is a, like very cliche and everything, but it does it does naturally fall into where I want to take the character. Mm-hmm. So it's not mm-hmm. like that was forced, but it was forced in the sense that I want to I wanted to show the audience that he's not dead and he will be back, and yeah. you know just give them a little more to chew on and just a little more excitement. But that really wasn't the intention. I, I was gonna just have him kill himself, and that was that was it. So it would have been it would have been more disturbing if this was a one off. But it's mm-hmm. just not our it's just not our intention. So Yeah. 
I, I think it's I better think to do it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it's more disturbing that he lives because then how are people supposed to go home and sleep after that? Oh yeah, yeah. he could right. be anywhere. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Exactly. Well, so mm-hmm. I think if you're going to uh, have him come back too, it's best to do it in the fr- in this movie as opposed to if he he killed himself at the end of this one and then he just comes back in the second one. I think it would have more like people say, "Well, that doesn't make any sense. He blew his brains out in the last movie. You just want to do it." But if you do it at the end of this movie, then it, you've already set up that uh, you know he can come back. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what was everyone's favorite scene in the movie when you're watching it? <laughs> I my mine, I think, is the diner scene. I just love that whole entire scene. I yeah. love that scene so much. That's my and favorite. There's, too. there's so much that happens in it. You know, you 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 get you know, you understand so much about all the different characters in that scene. It's just like you have yes. your, your real moments. You have your a little bit of fun in there, and you also have your crazy over the top kills in there too. It's just like has everything in that one scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, and it's so tense because like yeah. you you know this guy is bad news, but he's just the fact that he's just sitting there like making faces at at me like it. There, I don't know. It it just comes from the kind of tension that you experience when you're around strangers in public, and the only thing keeping them from being themselves is the fact that they are in public. And it's kind of, it's, I feel like it's kind of the point where we're still figuring out who this guy, whether this guy is willing to cross the line of, oh, he just doesn't give a shit and he's, and he's willing to cause mayhem with people around. And you don't know at that moment yet. And so the things that he's doing that seem fairly innocent are almost more scary, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. And, and your characters. Sit on the wall. Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it, it's suspenseful. Right, but people yeah. could relate to that scene because right. it's not so far out of the box because that's that's the no. reason why Art the Clown comes out on Halloween. It's because he can get away with walking around in public in a costume. So right. it's not, you know what I mean? If it was like August and he walked in, then it completely <laughs> changes everything. It's like, <laughs> yeah. you know, the, co- the cops are called. This is so weird. It's just like you can't. But the fact that it's Halloween, we can drag it out. It, it, it's acceptable to a degree. Like, he didn't do anything illegal. He's just a guy dressed in a costume that's just like, he's right on the line. It's getting, it's just right, the, exactly. the awkward. Yeah. So that's yeah. what's fun about the scene, uh, you know, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's a way more eloquent version of what I was trying to say. <laughs> I mean, yeah. there's, there's the, dy- the <laughs> dynamic of, of Kara being unnerved by this guy, but because it's Halloween, her her nerves aren't necessarily based in anything other than just a feeling. Whereas, like you yeah. said, if it were you know Labor Day, it'd be a different story. <laughs> like, right. But still, you're you're the only character that really does think there's something wrong with the guy, and then everyone else is kind of like, ah, he's harmless. You know, he's and right, so, uh, right. Which, puts- is, which is, I think, a really cool uh, horror trope to play with. Um, the, the, the girl that nobody believes, especially since that, again, not that this is necessarily the attention, I'm not going to speak for, for Damien on that regard, but uh, the, the, the trope in horror movies and in real life of people not believing women and uh, our instincts about things. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes we're right and a bunch of people end up hacked up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Did, you keep, did, did you keep the ring? <laughs> No, God, God no! Oh, right. <laughs> I, I don't know where that thing is, Damien. Do you still have that? No, I, I think when you tossed it in the shot, we really lost it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're it's right. Still in there somewhere. Like, now if someone's gonna yeah, go and find are, it. Like, I know. Oh, I was about yeah. to say now it's a scavenger hunt. Geez, casting. <laughs> someone's got to go find it. Very cool. <laughs> That'd be a uh, first person going that building. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Damien, how did you find the song for that scene? Because I was, I was actually just cutting that scene for my reel earlier, and I that song is amazing and perfect. Isn't that song amazing? That's um, so fucking good. So good. I think that Dave, that's your cousin, right? Yeah, yeah, that's well, my uh, cousin Elizabeth's uh, band. Thanks. They, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They that's sent amazing. me. They sent me a bunch of uh, tracks that they had in that song. I, I loved it. I was like, oh, I would love to put this in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, that's something we didn't talk about. Was just the, you know the the score of the movie too. Is uh, you get that nice uh, retro feel to it. Yeah, Paul did yeah, a fantastic job. 
That was uh, so that was Paul Wiley, who's uh, Marilyn Manson's guitarist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Fucking bad, badass. Uh, such a cool dude. We have like the easiest working relationship. Like I'll, I'll just give him like three notes, and then he just goes off and comes back with uh with an entire score, like a week <laughs> later, and then I could just I could just break it up and place it wherever I want for the most part. Uh, but I, you know, I told wow. him. I gave him like three references. I gave, you know, some maybe like something from Goblin, something from Tangerine Dream, uh, so go, like John Carpenter, Phantasm. And then I was like, you know, make it a little more modern and edgy, a little more um, like Tyler Bates, like Rob Zombie Halloween. And he knows, he actually knows Tyler Bates because Tyler Bates is in Rob, um, Marilyn Manson's band, I think, or something like that. So whatever the case, I mean, like he's like, heavily influenced by him and they know each other. So. He just, yeah, he just comes back with this awesome retro, edgy style, uh, you know. So he, it's, it's great. It's a great relationship. Yeah, I've heard so many compliments about the soundtrack and everything like that. It's, just, it's yeah, just, I love mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, I want to say it's awesome to have all of you on. I yeah. really appreciate Thanks everybody doing the show us. tonight. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Oh yeah, it's and, been a lot of fun. Yeah, and I, I really love Terrifier. Not just because you guys are on, but uh, I thought it was, it was great. <laughs> thanks so much. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Uh, J- we love it, too. Yeah. Oh, very good. <laughs> now, Damien <laughs> I, told us where you, where you could... Where you go on, Damien. Oh, no, I was going to say, it's, it's, it's okay. I don't know if I love it, but... <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, Damien told us where you could find him online, not like at his house or anything. So, uh, Jenna, <laughs> where can you where, where can you follow uh, follow you online? Uh, I am on Instagram as Squid Enthusiast, as in someone who is enthusiastic about squid, the creature in the sea. Uh huh. Yeah. Which I <laughs> live by, by the Cape. I live by the Cape Cod Canal, and I used to go squidding in the Cape Cod Canal. Oh wow. What is what is that? I don't know if I like the sound of that. Are you uh, squidding? If you, uh, you actually make a squid. squid. Right. You make a squid jig out of. Uh, we used to actually make them. Me and my uncle. And then uh, you go to the canal, and, and you you go squid. You, you, it's basically fishing for squid. What Troy said. Wait, wait, time out. What's a squid jig? Because I'm picturing a you squid dancing, jig. So you have seven appendages. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, squid. You used to make them out of magic marker top the tops because they were white, and then, then you had a the, the. It's almost like a small grappling hook. Hook. It's like a little uh with a bunch of hooks, and so you put the white part on the top, and you could paint it and stuff. So it's it's. The squid's attracted to, to flashy things, and uh, so then they would bite on it, and then you pull them up. Or sometimes, because the the uh, the canal, you can look down and see into the water. So if you have a big school of squid coming in, actually kind of just uh, fl- I'm making a motion, even though no one can see me. But you can flip the uh, <laughs> you can flip the the reel and and uh, and grab a squid that way and pull them in and. Uh, so a lot of times they spray ink all over you, which is cool when you're like ten or twelve. But yeah. Probably not so much now. Maybe ink. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe we'll have maybe we'll have art do that. Cool. Cool. <laughs> I, I don't condone this, but that's my Instagram handle. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> what is it about squid? I have to ask because yeah. that is a very unusual thing. Uh, I, um, I, uh, I, I only know a couple facts about uh, squid, but I'm just really enthusiastic about them. Yeah. <laughs> they're very cool. All right. I know enough, a couple things enough. about them and, <laughs> and I think they're really something. <clears throat> they are. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh David, how can you follow yourself? Well, my, my <laughs> are, are there any are there any squid involved? Uh, no, no squid involved. No, no, just <laughs> just little old me. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, my Instagram is uh, I believe it's David Howard Thornton. Yeah. And, um, I just tagged you in something. Oh, and uh, my uh, Twitter <laughs> is David H Thornton. So that's how you can find me. All right, fair enough. And also on my yeah. It's like David Howard. Basically, just look up David Howard Thorne on all those kind of platforms. You'll probably find. Right. It. Yeah. Yeah. I found that's probably what anyone could really do. But I always like to ask at the end. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But just you, basically, you can just go to just go to Google and, and look everyone up, <laughs> and then go to Squid Enthusiast and go what? <laughs> yeah. See, see your local World Wide Web. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I just love right. that, that someone that's actually a squid enthusiast will like go and like so who who took my name? <laughs> <laughs> Bad bastard. Okay, listen. What's I'll up? share this. I'll share one squid fact because now it's a thing. So basically, right. their do- <laughs> their brains are donut shaped and their esophagus goes <laughs> through the middle, and so if they eat too much, they get brain damage. <laughs> and I think that's wow. really something. That almost that is like Homer Simpson. Fantastic. I have the same problem. <laughs> <laughs> is Homer Simpson a squid? <laughs> <laughs> that's very interesting. I didn't know anyone was, was so into squid. That's, I, I think that's awesome. I don't know. You know? <laughs> Always come armed with a few squid facts, just in case. <laughs> I carry them with me everywhere I go. If we come for another hour, it's only going to get weirder. <laughs> Can you tell us anything about a Humboldt squid? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I fucking love Humboldt squid. They're my favorite squid. I don't know. That's a good one. They're, they're on the West Coast. They're big, like, five, six foot long evil oh, squid. Oh, yeah. They attack people oh, yeah. with regularity. Really? Yeah. And precision. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're vicious. Yeah. Humboldt's one of my favorite scientists, too. Very nice. <laughs> well, we all learned something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's, an edu- it's an educational show tonight. Yep. Humboldt Squid. Yeah. Bill and I would yeah. be happy. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're we're gonna bring Jenna back for a squid month. <laughs> Please, <laughs> Please do. Excellent. Uh, All right. uh, thanks bring, again, everybody. Bring, it's really been a lot of fun. Oh, go on. Has been a great. Bring yeah. who? Ah, ah. <laughs> I was just gonna say to bring Damien on for Hedgehog Month. That's all. Oh, Hedgehog. Oh. Hedgehog. Oh, you had to go there. You had to go there. <laughs> Always. No, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of my love for hedgehogs. I love them. I absolutely <laughs> love them. They're so cute, and they they roll up in their own fat. I mean, that's just like the greatest. Oh, thing hedgehog! I, I thought you said headshot month, and I'm like headshot. Uh huh. Headshot was so cute. Was. They just roll up. What? <laughs> they are cute. <laughs> yeah. D- David, do you have a favorite animal? Because we get squid, we get hedgehog. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have something. Gotta have I, I, I've always loved monkeys. I'm just like monkey. Yeah, monkey I was. Good. Yeah, I've always like every time I go to the zoo, I can sit there and like watch the monkeys for like an hour or so. Just actually, the funny I, I, this true story back because I, I have a teaching degree, and we took uh, the kids. Back when I was doing my student teaching, we took a field trip to the Birmingham Zoo. And <laughs> there's this monkey up there just swinging on this rope and just swinging back and forth. And he's like just staring at this one kid. He's just like just staring at him, swinging back and forth, back and forth. And all of a sudden, he just takes his other hand, his free hand, and just jerks off and flap right on the sh- face. Just no. Whack. <laughs> it was like that's exactly <laughs> where I pictured that story going, but no, <laughs> we didn't either. <laughs> it's all the other kids thought the monkey just peed on him. Like, oh yeah, sure, he just. Just <laughs> and uh, if you if you if you will look closely at an art the uh, clown tattoo on his hand. <laughs> yeah. Well, the yeah. thing ties that together. That, that one kid that we all hated too. So all of us, uh, the adults, <laughs> oh no, but <laughs> <laughs> you'll never see a hedgehog jerking off. I just want to say. That. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Bill? You got a favorite critter you want to throw? Oh, yeah. I, I love raccoon. I love All right, raccoon, of, man. Raccoon. All right. I'm a very uh, rural arrow. Much. I got yeah. raccoons come around a lot. I, I used to have a, I have a video on my Facebook. There's a, there was a one, there was a well, three legged raccoon that used to come and get in my garbage can. But he never made a mess. He just untied. I don't know how he did it, but he'd open the, he'd, he'd knock over the garbage can and then he'd get in. And he'd open up the bag, but he wouldn't rip it. And he just pulls one out, stuff out he'd want to eat. But uh, I was always happy. I'd let him do it because he, you know, he didn't make a mess. They're but, uh, amazing. They have fucking yeah. human hands. I don't yeah. let them have it. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy they only do. had the one front uh, paw, right? Yeah, he was missing like his right front uh, paw. 
Uh, With a three-legged raccoon? Yeah. Yes. Oh, no, my heart. <laughs> very, this makes me think of the, the movie The Great Outdoors. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. The little raccoons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, how about Troy? You're the only one left. Yeah. Um, I was about to say, yeah. All right. Uh, well, I have a marginated tortoise, so I'll go with a tortoise. What Sorry, kind of tortoise? <laughs> a marginated tortoise. They have like a skirt on the back. A skirt? Oh. Yeah, it's a little like part of their shell. It's like a little extension of the shell in the back. Oh. And well, she, she digs and climbs. That's pretty much what she likes to do. Oh, cool. They're a lot more active than I thought they would be. And it's a female, so that's 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 fantastic. Yep. You can tell by looking at the skirt. Well, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Well, it could be a kilt, I suppose. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah it could be a scotted tortoise. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's it's always a possibility. We found out though that uh, well, at first I thought because when I first got Al, um, we thought it was a male, <laughs> but then we learned uh, that the the bottom shell of a tortoise <laughs> yes if it's if it's a male it's curved so that when they mount the female they don't fall off <laughs> and i, oh. I never knew that yep and so that now so she's hal i because learned she was same. hal needham because she was kind of a little stunt man so she would climb up things and jump off and so now she's hallie oh that's fantastic I, I used to have a box turtle when I was a kid, and it was a. We thought it was a boy at first too, and we called him Sam. And we took <laughs> him to the herpetologist, and it's like, nope, this this is a Samantha. We're like, <laughs> yep. And he he explained the whole thing too with the bottom of the shell, but he didn't explain it in that way because I was like maybe eight at the time, so I didn't understand <laughs> that. <bit of> <laughs> uh, no tortoise, you know. When they're tortoise. playing with other tortoises. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh. Cool. <laughs> well, that's very cute. <laughs> I just say I just want to uh, a story to share with our. I critics agree too. I like yeah. this. Uh, <laughs> Keys, by the way, has been uh, listening tonight. She said uh, she's uh, having fun listening. She's not seen Terrifier, but she's definitely looking forward to the hacksaw scene. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Looking forward. <laughs> <laughs> Well, one of our kindergarten teachers at my school said she's going to rent this on Redbox tomorrow. So, oh, really? Oh, wow. so I think show them to the class. I, she might. She might bring it in for show and tell. You never know. <laughs> and then she will be fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kids will just be sitting there in the corner, just, you know, huddling, <laughs> walking back and forth. <laughs> no way. And out. Us, well, yeah. <laughs> And uh, Seb hey. Godin wanted us to tell you uh, that uh, please tell Damien Leone that I really like Frankenstein versus the Mummy. Yeah. Wow! Thank you. Hey. Thank you so yeah. Tell him that he's the only one. <laughs> no, I like that movie too. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I haven't <laughs> seen it yet. I'm sorry. That's all right. I just watched <laughs> Terrifier again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right. Well, this has been awesome, and uh, I'd love to have uh, you know any of three of you back on at some point. It's been a good sure. time. Thank you. Yeah. Guys. yeah, man, this was fantastic. I will, I thank you so much. Yeah, I'd be happy to. Yeah, thank you fun. so much. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Absolutely. We'll bring more animals back. All right. I know that's absolutely. Right. I know there that's, we go. That's why. Yeah, that's the only reason we were brought on. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll do more of that. Uh, excellent. <laughs> Right. Best of luck to everybody and thanks, thanks again. everybody. Thank yep. you. Thank you so Have much. Night, Have a good night, everyone. Thanks, guys. Take care. Uh, Bye. Hey, this is David Howard Thornton. You might know me as Art the Clown for the movie Terrifier, and this is Without Your Head. <laughs>